Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori. Oh, and we have a cup of cheer going on right now. I use these mugs year round. Mm. I made an espresso hazelnut with frothed half and half. Oh, so good. Mm. Okay, this video, I am going to take you to my, um, the book festival that I went to. But I wanted to show you a few things that I purchased before the video and then I'll roll it and I did talk throughout. There's gonna be some music and loudness because it was loud, but it was so fun. Oh, I highly recommend you check with your local library if they're doing anything like this and you're a bookie, go. So fun. All right, so when you walk into the public library, they were selling these bags, which I think they sell all the time, but it is the Friends of the Library. We'll do my thumbnail. Um, <coughs> this is the Columbus Metropolitan Library. And I think I mentioned it in the video, but the library itself is 150 years old. They just did a bunch of renovations and I love it. So I grabbed this. I will use it eventually for groceries, but they sell them when you go to the Friends of the Library sale. They sell books. So, but I'm going to use it with my other bags when I go to the grocery store. So I'm getting rid of a lot of those plastic kind of cheapy ones that always rip and fall apart. And I'm going to have like four, five good bags. So that's what that is for. And then inside, inside they had um, some stuff, stuff, and I got these mints. And it says, Ruth Bader Ginsburg Judgments. Don't lose your appeal. I am dying. I love her. And these are just little, like, tiny mints. And they're delicious. I use them after I have coffee. They work great. They're just mints, guys, but I keep the tin. And this is the Unemployed Philosopher's Guild, and these are peppermint. So I got those, and then I use this tin for like crafting. I either put knitting stuff, or I can put um, cross-stitching things in here, and then I just use them. Then they had a bunch of buttons for sale, and I think I'm gonna cut the backs off and put a magnet in here and make them a stitch minder, but it says, I love pat. I love cats. It's people I can't stand, <laughs> which I thought was appropriate, really. And then the other one just says caffeinated, which again, appropriate for me. So those are the things I purchased in the little shop that I'm assuming that they have all the time. Then I went to a sticker shop and I have to link it below. Um, my friend's daughter runs the sticker shop. Her name is Jacqueline, and she does have an Etsy store. So if you go buy something from her store, let her know I sent you. Um, she also said that she will be at the coffee festival with coffee-themed stickers. So that's all about my life. So I got from her Columbus, the cityscape sticker. And these are great on water. Like, they're vinyl. They're good on water, water bottles, on your laptop, all kinds of stuff. So we got Columbus. So I thought, oh, what's the matter, Luna? Oh, and look at this Ohio sticker. I love it. I just thought this was so fun. I'm kind of run out of room on my water bottle, so I'm not sure what the situation's going to be. And then, because duh, I got a bicycle sticker, because I love my bike. And then I got more cats, less problems, because yes truth in advertising. This one might fit on my water bottle. I'll see. And then because it was a book thing, she had a ton of book ones. And this says, read books, drink coffee, be happy. And I'm like, yes, that's my life, right? So I grabbed these stickers from her shop. She sets up little booths. And like I said, everybody will be um, linked in the description box below. And I'll try to remember to put it in the first comment too. So you can link right to the shop. And then I was walking around and ran into, and I'll try to remember to put a picture here. I ran into a friend of mine from work and oh, her name is Keisha Moore and she wrote this book and she signed it for me. And it says to Lori, thanks for always supporting me. I truly appreciate you. May you be inspired. Best, Keisha Moore. She signed it for me and she wrote this and that's Keisha. She works with me at the bank. 
and um, I had no idea she was writing a book. So I grabbed this book of hers because duh. And then my goal, there was, Quiche was in this tent. It's the independent author's tent. And I think I even have some video footage of Quiche, but I will link you to where you can buy this book as well. It is on a faith journey. Um, it says, A Journey of Faith, Courage to Live, Strength, Strength to Endure is a story about the author's mother, Carolyn Y. Moore. Carolyn's unwavering faith in God shined a light into every corner. Her determination to live a life according to him no matter what he threw her way became an inspiration for so many to follow. This steadfastness would prove to be the strongest foundation for Carolyn and her family as she entered the greatest test of her life in faith battling cancer. So it's a good read. I would recommend getting it. So then I was walking around and I said, well, ooh, I want to buy a book from an indie author. I want to support them. And I think if you hold your phone up to this, it'll link you. It'll link you to her shop. Um, her name is J.R. Frumling, Frumling, Frumling. And I really like fantasy books. I really don't want anything about reality too much when I'm reading for like a beach read. So this is a journey through time. Life, uh, Lily's life was ruined hours before her 12th birthday. And it's, a, it's called My Viking Alpha. And it's 100% fantasy. And then the next book she said is My Celtic Luna, which will be the next book in the series coming out. And she said this would just be a two two book series. Um, I will also link you to her and she did sign it for me. And her says, Lori, hope you find a love as eternal as Rolf's. Lily's love. And then she signed it. And my thing is, I just want to encourage and, and do all the things for the independent authors. So these are independent, meaning that they publish a books on their own. And then so I think this was Another woman who was there, Sandra Valentine's books. She had some fun stuff at her booth. And then this one is The Night Rangers, a Savannah Night story. Oh, here's another QR code. So if you hold your, pic your phone up to that, it will take you to her site. And also I will link it below. And I love that they are doing their business cards as bookmarks, because I love a good bookmark. Um, White Lantern, a gifted medium kills a man in self-defense and shuts down her second sight to avoid seeing him in the spirit realm, but now he has found a way in and no one is safe. And this is another author, and there's her QR code. Ooh, it's giving a glare. There you go. Okay. And then the other one is Song of Turand, Opening Aria by Sandra Valencia. Oh, song, yes, yeah, song. So these were some of the authors that I spoke with, and I'm going to link all down below. So now enjoy a walkthrough of the first ever Columbus Metropolitan Library Book Festival. Oh my gosh, it was so much fun. Bye. We are at the, I'm right behind you. Mm -hmm. We're at the Columbus Book Fair Festival. It's the first one. It's at the Metropolitan Library. Yeah. And these are all the authors. Oh, Indie Author Hall. Oh, Allie. Say hi, ladies. Hi. And they have a Lego village. So this is our downtown main Columbus Metropolitan Library. And they have the first ever book festival. This is, I believe, their 150 years of being open. How fun is that? Oh, the dog is in the water. Oh. Oh, my 
Are we allowed to pet them? We have a pig. This is outside the front of the library. No, you're good. <laughs> There's Sarah petting the sheep. Sheep. Not sheep? Sheep. I know these are sheep. That's me, the black sheep of the family. <gasps> There's some bunnies over here. Goodness. They're friends. Oh. Hi, honey. Is it okay if I put him on my video? Yeah. Deswell Hudson. He's going to be a star one day. On Lordy's oh channel. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, my oh, oh, I'm so sad. And this area here is all the food trucks. This is such a fantastic festival that's free to anyone and everyone. They have tons of kids stuff, authors and books, and gelato. What flavor did you get? Mint chip. Yum. The best sticker shop. I'll link it in the description box below. Jackie, I'm going to put you on my YouTube. And I'll link, I'm going to put a link below if you need stickers. Whatever. There were too many people before. Oh, look at these fantastic stickers, people. You need them. You need these. Link in the description box. <laughs> Say hi. This is my friend Quiche. She's an author. Here's my book, A Journey of Faith. We need to get this. What's your? You, is it on uh, Amazon? It's on Amazon. Yes. Guys, you got it. I'll link it below. Thank you. So this is behind the main library, and it is a topiary garden. And you can just come out here and walk around and read books. And the library doesn't have to be open to come back here. You can go through, just walk behind the building. And I should mention, we're in the center of downtown Columbus. And it lights up at night. This is a very child-friendly event too. Look. It's just Topiary sitting around reading. I'm dying here, guys. I am dying. This is so fun. I lost my girl. She had to go get her hair cut. That's okay. And I'm sweating to death. I can tell you that much. It is hot. And all these little tents are book authors and sellers of book, all things books. Columbus Public Library. It's 150 years old. And my favorite part, it's open to all. Truth. They just went through a major renovation down here, but we are going to a festival. All right, guys, this is it. 
downtown Columbus. That's Grant Hospital. And this is where the festival is. And we're gonna hopscotch, because that's what we do. This is so fantastic. 